Canada's oldest security provider is celebrating a big anniversary. The CEO of Commissioners Hamilton, Don Thompson, joins us now with more on what they do and more on what they're celebrating because next year it's 100 years of service to this country. That's right, and uh, thank you, Annette. We're, uh, we're very excited. Uh, we actually created a baton that you see in front of you to celebrate that anniversary. It's making its way across the country. It's in Hamilton right now for the next few weeks. And uh, we're very excited to going to client sites, uh, having folks like yourself that, that help us get the word out there about who we are and what we do. Okay, so when I think of commissioners, I think of security guards. But there's so much more than that. Oh, very much so. And, and I mean, one of the, the, the biggest things that we do in the community is providing ID services. So folks who have uh, immigration needs, uh, people who have employment uh, requirements to have their screening and background checks done, people who want to travel internationally, we provide all of that service and many others as well. And you do fingerprinting services, you do all, all kinds of things like right. that. Right, background checks, that sort of stuff. Uh, security obviously is, is our bread and butter. Uh, we work in a lot of different clients, from everything from condominium security, to construction, retail, uh, but we're mostly known for our work with the federal government. Uh, it's, we've had that relationship since the end of World War II, and uh, we're very proud to do that and represent the government here locally, here in Hamilton. Right, but you're not a government, it's a private, it's a private not-for-profit. Absolutely, we're Canada's only national not-for-profit security services provider. We have 15 divisions across the country. Uh, Hamilton is actually the smallest division by staffing, but uh, we, we, we punch above our weight and uh, we represent the, the organization locally. And, and it's mainly, it, it was kind of started to give something for retired veterans and retired RCMP officers to do. Absolutely, and uh, to be honest, it began in England in 1859 uh, for uh, soldiers coming back from the Boer War. Uh, th that was created, it came to Canada in 1925 and uh, we're, we're closing in on that centennial here. It actually started in Montreal, went to Toronto, BC, and then Hamilton in 1937. So we just celebrated our 85th anniversary last year. Okay, but nationwide, it's, it's, it's 100 next absolutely. year. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Okay, and, and, and what do you do specifically in Hamilton? So in Hamilton, uh, we, we actually have an, an area of operations. We go all the way through the Niagara Peninsula down to the US border. We're north up to Listowel. Uh, east out into the Halton area in Milton and west out to Brantford. So locally in Hamilton, uh, folks will see us right in our downtown location with the uh, with the federal building You're on Bay on York Street. Boulevard, yeah. Yeah, we're located in York and uh, we have uh, contracts throughout the, the Hamilton area. Uh, locally in the Hamilton area itself, we work with the Court Administrative Services. We uh, work in the federal building, as I said, uh, the Canadian Forces Recruitment Center. We have commissioners there as well. Uh, and we provide a lot of different services uh, to our clients based on their needs. And you were telling me in the break that your, your age is kind of skewing a lot younger now because now you also have people who are coming in who maybe want to train to become police officers or, or go into the military and, and a job with commissioners is a great place to start. It really is. It gives that legitimacy of the experience that people need other than by law enforcement services or those types of things for people coming out of uh, Police Foundations program, Conestoga College, Mohawk College, places like that that are looking for that real world experience before they move on to these other organizations. Very cool. Okay, so you can find this baton here that's in front of us. It's going all across the country, and there's photos uh, along. You can track the map along, but it is at Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. That's right. Uh, the, the museum has been very kind to host us until February 24th. Uh, they've also been kind enough to allow commissioners to uh, attend free of charge uh, during the month of February, and with Family Day weekend coming up, that's kind of a, that's kind of a big thing. Um, so we're focused there. We have a, a display set up there for folks to learn about commissioners and about the baton itself as it makes its way across the country. Very cool. What are you most proud of commissioners for? I guess I'm most proud of our social mandate where we had a commitment when we were first formed to serve veterans. Uh, that social mandate has grown over the years to support not only veterans but their families and really anyone in our communities that are, are, want to contribute to the safety and security of, uh, of our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, we're very inclusive. Uh, we're very open towards uh, people that are looking to help make communities safer and uh, we feel that uh, our credentials and our reputation precedes us as a professional organization and just a great place to be. Okay, that's awesome and you can find out more about the commissioners. We'll put a link up to our website at chch.com. In the meantime, we're going to have to get a photo of this baton so that Absolutely. you can place it on the national map. Morning Live will be on the national map then. Absolutely. And, Don, uh, thanks very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>